Hey there, so in this video we will create a simple rock paper scissors game in Vue.js so that you can have a better understanding of how the basics of Vue.js works and also it's a fun game to build. So we have this game already built. We have these three options that the user can choose from and once the option is chosen he choose to fight and this is the option which computer choose and depending upon the choices it can be either a win, a loss or a draw. We also show the scores here of the user and the computer and we also show the number of rounds that the user has played. We have the option to reset the game. Simple game so let's dive in. This is the version that I've already built so I'll, ju I'll just close this down and this is where we will be working with the new implementation. So what I have already ready for you is the basic template with CSS and the HTML. I have included the bootstrap library. I have included the Vue.js Syrian library. We have the basic CSS to style the game. And this is the basic HTML markup. I'll just show you what is there in the markup. So we have the heading. We have we, this is the section where we show the scores. By default, it's now zero. This is the game section. This is the option that the user can choose from the rock, paper, scissor. This is the game option where we show to choose the weapon to fight or the loading status or the result. And this is the option that the computer chose. And below down in the down the game, we show the number of rounds that the user have played and also the option to reset the game so currently there is no JS attached to this HTML so this is what we are going to do in this video so let's get started so we write the script we create a new view instance bind it to an ID of app and we will need some data to For the game to run so first things first we need the options that the computer can choose from so first one is rock paper and third one is scissor we need a variable to store what weapon user has chosen so this is your weapon what weapon what weapon computer has chosen so this is computer's weapon we need a way to store the result whether it is a draw a win or a loss we need a variable to score the results so by default it's zero and the computer score as well which by default is zero we also need a variable to store the number of rounds that has been played so total rounds is by default is zero and we also need a variable to denote whether the fight is currently going on so the fighting option by default is false so looks good so first things first we need a way to for the user to choose from these options so currently if you see these are the options and if you click on these options nothing happens so these are just blank divs with CSS attached to them so let's add some functionality to it via Vue.js so we add a click event and on the click event we say call a method named choose weapon and we will pass on the option of which weapon the user is looking to choose so we will copy the same event here and instead of rock we will pass on paper and instead of paper here we will pass on scissor so this is good so next thing we need to create a method in the view instance so we have this method choose weapon and so what we need to do when you click on a particular weapon we need to assign the weapon to variable named your weapon and we will pass on this here looks good so let's just see what happens when the user choose a weapon nothing let's inspect the view and you already have the weapon chosen but we need a way to show to the user that which weapon he chose so i'll just show you if you inspect this particular thing 
and apply a class named checked what happens is we change the color or also enlarge the icon so this gives a feedback to the user that the icon has been chosen so what we need to do is we need to utilize this class and we will apply the vbind directive to bind the class checked depending upon which weapon has been chosen so if your weapon is equal to rock then apply the class checked otherwise nothing so we will apply the same thing here and here so instead of rock it should be paper instead of rock this should be scissor so let's see if this thing works refresh the page choose the option is chosen choose the option it's chosen all right so we have done with this part next thing we need to come to this next part where we show the appropriate option to the user so by default if you refresh the page and no option has been chosen this should show choose your weapon and if you come to the second part you see that there are multiple options that we show to the user at the same place the first one is choose your weapon the next one is fight the another one is we show the loading option to the user and the next one is where we show the result so we need to use we if directives to decide which option to show when so what about this thing choose weapon this should only be shown when there is no weapon chosen by the user so only if there is the your weapon property is blank then only we show this property this option next thing the fight option we only show this thing when the weapon is being chosen and we have already declared a property named fighting so we show this thing only when the fighting property is true and we have another class called result in here we show the result to the user and we show this thing only if the result is non-empty so if we go back to the screen we have the choose your weapon option we choose the weapon and it's changed to fight option sounds good so we are ready to do the fighting all right so what happens when user clicks on the fight option we need to assign a random value from rock paper scissors to the computer weapon and we need to decide which option which user wins either the user or the computer so we will bind a click event and we will call a fight method so we need to create a new method named fight and in here we need to first assign a random value to the computer weapon so I have this ready so this is the code for this what we are doing here is we are doing math.random which gives a random number between 0 and 1. We multiply it by the options.length. So basically if the value is around 0.5 we multiply it by 3 and then we do the floor so that we get the whole value. So we will get either 0, 1 or 2 so which is the basically the options we have. And then we use the array to find to give back the particular value to the computer weapon and we already have the your weapon chosen so now we can start the fighting basically we can we can decide which one wins so it's just basically a lot of if else loop of deciding which one wins we i since i already have the implementation ready i'll just paste it here and we'll show you what's going on so if your weapon is equal to the computer weapon then it's a draw if computer weapon is a rock and your is a paper then it's a win if it's a scissor then it's a loss and so on and so forth so next thing we need to define these three methods draw win and lose it's pretty simple i'll just copy and paste them as well 
So in the draw, we, de we declare the result is a draw and we increase the total number of rounds. And in win, the result is won and we increase the user score and also the total number of rounds. In loss, we increase the computer scores and also the total number of rounds. So sounds good. We are ready to fire it and let's just see if this thing works. So we go back to the screen. We choose the weapon, we choose to fight and nothing happens. So let's see what's going on in the view instance. So the total rounds is increased and the result is a draw, but we haven't got any feedback on the screen. So let's just do that. So first things first, when the computer weapon is chosen, we need to show to the user which weapon did the computer chose. So we will come here and declare so if the computer weapon is rock then show this if the computer weapon is paper then show this and if the computer weapon is scissor then show this thing so we go back we choose the weapon we fight and this is the option that computer chose and it should have a proper result so we now go back and show the result to the user we already have the result but we're not showing it to the user so we use the mustache and we show the result and also i have a particular class binding for the type of the result we are showing to the user so if it's a win we bind it with a win class and it's in a green color if it's a draw it's in the yellow color so for that i will use the class binding and just bind it with the result so if you look into the css classes we have this options of won lost or draw so we assign the same class to the result and if you go back we fight and we show the lost option with the appropriate color so now once we have the result we need a way so that user can continue with the game so if we choose another option it should show the fight again and we should get rid of this computer weapon so let's modify the change weapon method and in here we make the result blank because once user changes the weapon this means that he is ready to fight again so we make the result blank and we also make the computer weapon blank so let's see if it works we choose a weapon we start to fight it's a draw we change the weapon and it's fight again it's a loss so now since we have this game working let's show the scores to the user and also change the value of number of rounds he has played so if we go here instead of zero we show your score and instead of zero here we show the computer score and down here we show the total number of rounds user has played so let's see if this thing works we start fight it's a draw so you lose computer has won fight again so we have played three rounds computer won two you won zero it's a bad day all right so let's get going and we have this thing pending the reset thing so what if user wants to reset the game and start again he's not having a good luck so we will create a new method named reset and basically the reset means put all of the values to their original default value so this is what the reset means we clear out the weapons we clear out the rounds we clear out the results so we play the game and if we reset everything is back to the default state so couple of things we can improve in this as per the as to make the game more interesting so that if computer is winning we should show the computer option in green and the other one is red and if you are winning you should be in green and the computer one is in red 
so let's use the we bind to do this so we say so we use the class binding if your score is greater than computer score greater or greater than or equal to then the we apply the method of text success otherwise text danger similarly here if computer score is greater than your score then this thing so by default both of them are green because both of them are on equal state we choose the weapon you fight you are now on green computer is in red both are equal both are in green you you gone ahead so this makes it more visually clear of who is winning and who is losing one more thing that we can do is to make it more interesting we can add some kind of a dummy processing on the on the javascript so that it appears that computer is now making a choice between different options so what's happening here is in our javascript we just click on the fight option and we call this method fight and this basically changes the weapon computer has this basically requires a fraction of milliseconds of time but just to give a user a pretentious processing we will delay it and how we can do that is so instead of fight here we say we are pretending to process we will create this new method called pretend processing and this is what we do in the pretend processing so we call the set interval method of javascript which basically calls a code multiple times within the given interval and we clear out the interval once the x reaches 10 so for the 10 times and for hundredth of a second that is 1 by 10 second we keep changing the weapon just to show user that the computer is choosing from different weapons so we keep changing the computer weapon by applying the same method so it gives random results all the time and the computer it appears that the computer is choosing from different options and once we reach the 10 count we clear out the interval that means it's no longer running the this thing and we call a new method called this dot fight so let's create this fight method and we will take all of the code from here to here so this is when actually the fight happens this is basically when we choose the final option and we set the fighting status to false and in here we set the fighting status to true so once the fighting status is true we have used this property in here which basically shows that the processing is going on so if we go back and we choose to fight it basically gives a loading option till the fighting is going on and also the weapons keep changing and we finally choose a weapon so this was about it i hope you had a lot of learnings from building this game and it was a fun practice exercise to build a simple game in javascript all right that's it for now see ya